Hey everybody, welcome to the very first issue of Bonanza Lifestyle. Here's my Bonanza, or one of them, Sweet Loretta. And we're going to set Sweet Loretta down right here, because we're not going to be playing a song or teaching a song. We're going to be going over a topic, and it's all about your... Oh, let's see, what was the topic again? Oh, your memory. And I can tell you right now, I have a very unusual memory. Maybe it's not too different than yours. You can remember uh, that girl who sat in front of you in third grade. Uh, you can remember what the cake was at your cousin's wedding in 1974. Uh, you can remember uh, who played Catwoman on episode 73 of Batman and Robin. You can remember all those weird things that maybe doesn't amount to anything, but when it comes down to memorizing history facts in school, maybe trying to memorize that Bible verse in Sunday school, you just had to struggle, struggle, struggle to get something in their wrote. That's how my memory is. So I've came up with a few little tricks that I use. And number one is the oldest trick in the book. But first you're going to find that song that you want to memorize. So you find that song, you find that song sheet arrangement that you like. And here comes that oldest trick for memorization. And that is repetition. Play it over and over and over and over and over. Now you could think that's all I need to do is do it over and over and over and over. But while you're doing it over and over and over and over, some of these other things fall into place. And that is uh, a couple things happen. Um, first you notice maybe chord orders. And I call them chord orders instead of um, chord progressions. Uh, because not every song is... Uh, CFG7, CFG7, CFG7. Some of them have a blip chord in there occasionally or maybe even takes it into a slightly different key and throws in a G minor or whatnot. It, it's not just this continual cycle that you can pay attention to. So I call them chord orders. And uh, you're going to notice that and they're going to start getting embedded in your mind. The second thing that happens is lyrically you're going to start seeing some things and what I usually notice in most songwriting is songwriters usually are poets and let's say I found my song sheet and the song that I want to memorize is Smokey the Bear okay I got a song sheet here for Smokey the Bear and uh, I'm gonna memorize this song so I played it over and over and over and over now I'm gonna set my song sheet off to the side and it's over there off to the side and I'm kinda of muscling through the chords I'm I'm humming the melody line, I'm maybe even singing kind of the melody line, but I don't know all the words. And so I'm able to get through it pretty well with the chords. Now I go back and I look at the song sheet. And you're going to notice certain things in here in the rhymes. You're going to notice like in the top of the line here, pair of dungarees and sniffing at the breeze. And you're going to notice some of these uh, uh, poetic things that the lyricist does. And what it also does is you start to notice there's a story being told in the song. And when you pay attention to what the story is and those rhymes, it helps put those lines in order for you. At least it does for me, okay? The next thing you're going to do is once you get down pretty, pretty well with that song, like you can muscle through it or maybe bobble it a few times, I make a 3 by 5 card. And what I put on that 3 by 5 card is this material right here. I put on the title. Here's Smokey the Bear. I put on the first line of lyrics that I'm gonna that I need to memorize for the song, uh, and there it says with the ranger's hat and shovel and a pair of dungarees. Then I'm gonna put the first note sung, and the first chord I play. That's what I put on my deck of cards, and so th that starts to give your brain a jump start. Now, I've got a deck of cards here, and these are my memorized songs. I've got about 35 of them or so here, and that may not be a lot for some of you who have some memorized. But again, I'm I'm dealing with a a weak memory so I've had to learn this the hard way. But what I do when I go through my song list to memorize songs is I'm going to start out with Smokey the Bear, then I'm going to do card number one, then I'm going to do Smokey the Bear, then I'm going to do card number two, then I'm going to do Smokey the Bear, then I'm going to do card number three, then I'm going to do Smokey the Bear and so on. And meanwhile when I go through this deck I've done Smokey the Bear hopefully by memory 30 some times. And that really starts to help you get it embedded. Now when it comes to getting it memorized well enough to perform, what you might want to do is one more thing that I do. Because when you perform, you can, you can kind of panic. Now let me tell you, if you want to keep using your song sheet, that's fine if you feel comfortable doing that. But one thing these things will also do is help you not rely on the song sheet quite so much. So you will even feel more confident playing with your song sheet. You might be able to make eye contact and whatnot. But... When you start playing with the um, 
memorization on the cards here. Um, the next trick that I'm going to tell you really helps me uh, perform on stage because I can tend to be a, kind of a nervous performer and, and one way I can do that is practice in front of an audience a lot. Now you can go to open mics, you might find one of those once or twice a month if you're able to go to all of them. But what I find is when I turn on my television I have an audience. So I turn on the TV and I hit the mute button and the closed captioning is running on the bottom. And I set my chair in front of the TV about five, six feet behind or in front of the television. And as I'm playing the song, I try to read the ca closed captioning on there. So now what's happening is my memory is playing and singing this song on track number one, but track number two has incoming input. And so another part of my brain has to do something else. And if you can do that, that's how confident and strong you are getting on your memorization. If you can watch a television show, basically it's kind of like you're reading a book and playing and singing a song. That's what's really helped me is taking into that part. Now one thing that happens when you start to memorize your music is it'll take your performance level way up. But also what it does is when you memorize songs, it allows you to start uh, having expression with your songs. And expression with your songs is a whole nother topic. So good luck with your memory. Uh, maybe you'll find these helpful, maybe you won't. But hey, whatever works to get it into your memory is a good thing because it allows you to have that much more fun with the song. Have a good day.